Today, I'm here with Kesley Leroy. She is someone who I've known for a few years. I used to, in fact, drive her to tumbling yeah. <laughs> before she got her driver's license, and I'm good friends with her parents. She's an old neighbor of mine, but you guys probably know her because she has built up this massive following on Instagram and built up this huge clothing company. She's done all of these huge things, um, and you're how old now? I'm 19. 19? Yeah. How long have you been on social media? I've been on social media since I think it was the either the end of 2016 or the beginning of 2017. Wow. So how old were you then? I was like 13, 14. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And you've built up this enormous following. Mm -hmm. So something that's happening that's really big in her life is she is about to leave. Where are you going? I'm going on a mission. I'm going out to Billings, Montana, which is super fun. Yeah. She's going to Billings, Montana, and so she's going for 18 months, leaving everything, leaving her family, <laughs> leaving her business, leaving everything to go serve and be a full-time missionary. This is not like a humanitarian mission where you yeah. kind of help and then you can go do your own thing or whatever mm -hmm. and then come back you know, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. This is a full-time day and night mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yep. Um, why are you doing this? <laughs> well... Okay, this this was like such a hard choice for me. Um, I had, this is actually crazy. I, I had my bishop come up to me and he was like, have you ever really considered serving a mission? I was like, I mean, a little bit, but like, I literally told myself like, no, I'm not going. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, that's not for me. Like, it's too long. Like, I couldn't leave my family, my business, like stuff like that. And then he was like, I think you'd be really good at it. Like you, I feel like you'd really enjoy it. And I was like, maybe. So I just like kept thinking about it. I was just like, okay, I'll, I'll think about it. And I thought about it for like, not even kidding you, a year and a half. Like yeah. it took me so long to decide. And finally, I had all of my friends um, end up going on their missions. And that kind of like made me think even more. And I was like, oh, wow, this is like really cool. Mm -hmm. Like they're, they went to crazy places like Africa and England and like stuff like that. And I was like, wow, like that's cool. Like yeah. that is a cool place to go to. And, um, Billings, Montana is cool too. <laughs> yeah. Billings, Montana is cool. I had some friends go to West Virginia and like yeah. Florida and stuff. And I think that's still so cool, mm -hmm. but like they were willing to leave for two years to go and serve these people in like different countries or different States, which is like crazy because if you know Utah it's like such a bubble here yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like I don't know like I haven't ever lived out of the states I've lived in Utah my whole life yeah. and it was just a really really hard decision and then my boyfriend um decided to go on one and he's in, he's going to Brazil or he is in Brazil he's supposed to be in Brazil yeah. he's home right now yeah but... he came home for some health reasons and he's yeah. going back yeah. yeah he's going back but it's it was crazy I was like you know what I'll do it. Like after, after my boyfriend got his call and how excited he was and I could just see a different light in him. I was like, I, I, I kind of want to do this. Like I, I really want to do this. So I started my mission papers this last summer and I got them done in like a week. Cause I was like, I want to get this going. And I turned them in in September and now I'm here and <laughs> going to Montana. <laughs> tell me, tell me what you mean when you said you saw like a difference or a light in him. Like I just, there was just something about him, like, he had just, like, this glowing light. Like, obviously, you can't, like, see this sure. glowing light, but, like, talking to him, it's just, like, there was, like, this bright light just around him, and, like, you, you could almost see, like, Jesus Christ in his eyes. Like, yeah. it was super cool. That's so beautiful. You know, it makes me kind of emo yeah. emotional, but... Of course it does. <laughs> and you guys are the cutest couple, too. Thank you. And I don't know where that's going to go, so no pressure, but you guys are really <laughs> the cutest couple. Um, and... The thing I love about you guys is that you both helped each other to do good things. Mm -hmm. That's that's really rare for your age. Yeah, that's so rare. That's that's something I say to Brock is like how good we have like been and like the good things that we're doing. It's just like oh, like we are really good. Like yeah. I don't know. Tell me what what makes you emotional right now. I don't know. It's just it might just be the spirit. It's just like it's still a little overwhelming. Cause it's like, I'm leaving, you know? And like, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I know I'm going to go to Montana and I've heard so many positive things about it. And I, I, it just sounds so cool. And so like, I'm excited, but overwhelmed. Cause I have like a lot of things going on and like, I don't know. It's just like super cool 
and like I'm so ready to do this and <laughs> it's like this time dragging is making like it it's so hard like I just oh, yeah. I want to get out there and go do it you're ready yeah you're so ready that's so <laughs> exciting I don't know why I'm so emotional no that this is a big deal this is a big deal. I, I mean, I, I can't speak for you, but you're giving up a lot to go do this. So mm-hmm. what is it? I mean, you haven't served a mission yet, Mm-mm. but what is it from what you know that you're going to go do? So what I know I'm going to go do is I know I'm going to be just serving others and I'm going to be, you know, like just connecting with the community there. And I know I can help, you know, people like Let's say like snow is pretty bad in Montana. I could help sh- sh- um, shovel snow, which is super cool. And I can um, just go and help people that are in need. And then I can go and talk to them. And I can teach them about the gospel if they're wanting to hear it. Or I can just share like super cool quotes that I hear during out the, throughout the day. And so it's just, it's cool to know that like I'm going out to help other people instead of just like being here and just doing things for myself. Like I can go and help other people in Montana and then come back and have those skills and help people here. And like, it's just like, it's, it's a thing that just builds and builds every single day that you learn. You can just go and serve people every single day. And I don't know, it's, it's, I'm just super excited to go and serve and teach the people like the gospel and yeah. stuff. Wow. So what would you say to someone? I'm going to ask something kind of controversial. Okay. <laughs> What would you say to someone like that says you belong to a cult? Why are you going to go try to get people to, to do that? <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I get some of these comments that I'm part of a cult. Oh, I'm sure you do. By the way, you have, <laughs> we've got to touch on that at some point because you have this huge following. You get mean stuff all the time. You get a lot of nice stuff too, uh-huh. but yeah, sorry. Go ahead and answer that. Um, just the, the comments about the cult doesn't affect me really. Yeah. Cause I know like my faith and I know what I think about the church and everything. What is that? And, uh, the, the things I think about the church are amazing. Like I've had experiences that have led me to where I am today. I like during middle school, I like lost all of my friends, but because like my parents like listened to the spirit and like, I listened to the spirit. We like moved and I met Brock and I hung out with Brock like all last summer and I met amazing friends. And so it was super cool to like, I just, I just have these experiences that can't, God was I don't, guiding you. yeah, that can't tell me that the church isn't true. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Just people, people always say like, oh, you're in a cult, you're in a cult. But it's like, if I was in a cult, like I could, I couldn't have leave, like I couldn't leave my church. And the thing is, if I wanted to, I could leave and that's not a cult, yeah. but I know my faith and I know what I believe in and I don't want to leave. And like, this is the, this is the church I want to be part of and the experiences I have. I want to, I want to bring other people to, um, I want to bring other people to experience what I experience. What you've been able to experience. Wow. Yeah. I love that so much. Everything you just said is so, it just is all encompassing. Like you're going out and forgetting yourself and you have a lot to give up. Yeah. You have a lot to give up to go do this. This is why I wanted you on my podcast because here in Utah, especially, there's tons of people that go on missions. Yeah. And I don't usually interview them because like, that's so great. It's so mm-hmm. selfless. Everyone is being selfless by going and doing that. But you are rare in the sense that most people at your age have not built up a huge business, you know, and you're willing to say, you know what, I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. And I'm just going to go because I want to go help people and bring them to something that has brought me so much happiness. Yeah. And that says so much about who you are. And you've always had this light about, you've always been such a sweet girl. And Thank you. this is something I said to your parents. This is, <laughs> I don't know if they ever told you this, but well, I remember when I was driving you to tumbling, I told your parents, I'm like, your daughter is so unique because most kids at that age, they're on their phone and they're like, uh-huh, like courtesy laugh. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> And you wouldn't even be on your phone. You would just be like looking at me while I'm talking. And I'm like, what? <laughs> this is so weird. And you're like so respectful. And thank you so much for the ride. And I'm like, oh. who is this girl? You're such a good, good person. And I just love that about you. Mm-hmm. Um, and just so full of light and kindness. So something I want to ask about is um, you've been on social media since you were pretty young. Mm-hmm. And that in and of itself is controversial because so many people are like, oh, kids have to stay away from social media. And, and rightly mm-hmm. so, right? And a lot of 
situations, it can be a very bad thing. How have you learned? I mean, you, you just so casually talk about, even before we started this, you so casually talk about the mean things people have said and you're just like, <laughs> oh, whatever. Like, how do you let that roll off of you? How have you learned to do that? You know, ever since I was in middle school and like we started getting hate comments, it has never, you could even ask my mom, it has never bugged me really. Like I would kind of just laugh about it and be like, whatever, like I didn't really care. And you know, through the years of like 2020, it got worse and it wasn't, it, it wasn't horrible, but it still, it started getting on my back and it started like, you know, tearing me down a little bit and I felt self, self-conscious self and I felt like I was just trying too hard on social media to like get everyone to like me. But you just kind of have to know that not everyone's going to like you. People are going to have their opinions and you can't change that. They're, they just like, they'll have their opinions, but no, everyone's different. And that's what makes everyone super unique in this world. Like just like, I, I'm, I live in Utah, I'm Mormon and I'm blonde and I like live up to the Utah standards, <laughs> but that's me. And like, I, I love, I love that about me. And I love being like this Utah Mormon girl. And you know, people may think that's weird, but if you don't like me, then you don't have to follow me, you know, yeah. like it's funny. It's funny seeing comments say like, like, why, why is this on my for you page? You're like, why am I watching this? It's like, I don't know. Like you guys can just slide up. Like, I don't understand. Like, Do you want me to answer that for you? <laughs> like, I don't understand why you took your time to comment. Cause yeah. the fact that you took your time to, time to comment, there's going to be more videos on your for you page of me. <laughs> like, I don't know That's why so you can't just slide and move on. Yeah. But. Like your mean comment just boosted my page. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And another thing too, is like, it's not just you, like your parents have received a lot of hate too, mm -hmm. which I have to say this. Okay. There's, cause there's been a lot of hate towards your parents and how they parent because you do videos together where mm -hmm. the cutest videos where you guys are like, you do your fun handshake together. You do, you know, you're, you're friends with your parents and people have been so up in arms about that. Yeah. They've been so up in arms about the fact that you're friends with your parents. <laughs> Why? I have no clue. I mean, I got to say what I personally think, which is your parents are incredible from, from what I see, your parents are incredible people. They're incredible parents. Yeah. And I think there's everything good about being kind to your children. Why are people mm -hmm. upset about that? It's not like our only job is to be a disciplinarian. You're supposed to love your children. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what your thoughts are on that, like, and how your parents are in your, from your perspective. Yeah. I I love my parents. Like my parents are literally my best friends. Like I tell them everything. And it's funny to me that people say like things like your mom shouldn't be your best friend. Your mom shouldn't be your best friend. But I think that's totally wrong. Like I think obviously like my mom is a mom. There's times that she'll get mad at me and be like, Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. And like, like, you know, like she'll give me disciplines, yeah. which is totally good. But there's also another side where my mom is like my best friend and because she's my best friend, I'm willing to tell her things and you know, I've, everyone makes mistakes. And so I'm I, like, I can tell my mom my mistakes that mm -hmm. I have made and she can help me solve problems. And like, I don't know why people wouldn't want to be close to their mom. And I know not everyone has a great relationship with your sure. mom, but if you can like grow a relationship with your mom, like I would, because it's just like, she's always going to be there. Come like no matter with or any maybe she friends, won't, right? And you yeah. will have wished that you had a relationship. Yeah. Like my when I lost my friends in middle school, like my mom was my best friend. Like and she never left me. Like she was always my best friend before, but be, when I lost all, all of those friends, she was all, she was always going to be there, which is so nice, which I think is great for any relationship with any kid because it's like you you know that your parents are there for you um no matter what happens like friends leave and or come and go but your parents will always be there oh my gosh look at the result though like for all these haters out there of your parents how many of them really wish that their teenagers adored them <laughs> the way that you adore your parents and you tell them things not mm -hmm. only that look what kind of person you are and i'm not trying to build you up to embarrass you because I, <laughs> I don't like that but the fact that you're this good you know, contributing member of society that wants to go out and spend her time serving others. Mm -hmm. 
it's like shame, you know, they can shame your parents all they want, yeah. but look at the job that they've done, you know? So maybe, maybe they're onto something. Maybe they mm -hmm. actually do know what they're doing. Maybe being friends with your kids is a good idea. And your parents have never been the type of parents that are like, we're friends. So yeah, bring some alcohol over, you know, it's not <laughs> yeah. like that. They just, they just love their children. Mm -hmm. They're so cute with you guys too. Like just, I see how she interacts with you all the time and all of your siblings and they're so cute with you guys. Um, so I had to do that plug in there because like <laughs> I get so bugged seeing these comments because your parents are just two of the greatest people and I absolutely adore them. Yeah. And I adore all of you guys too. <laughs> um, so how, how does, sorry, going back to social media, how does someone, it's hard because like there's everyone your age is on social media, right? Mm -hmm. How, how does someone not get affected by those mean comments? I know you said like your personality is you kind of just let it roll off and you don't really care. Yeah. But there are people that, you know, commit suicide. Mm -hmm. How do we avoid that? Like, what can you tell someone who's feeling badly about themselves because of something they read? This is, that's a really hard question Sorry. because no, no, everyone is just so different. Like, yeah. like you said, like, I'm just the person that kind of just like wipes it off my shoulder. And sometimes like, sometimes I'll think about it again. I'll be like, that was so mean. Like, do they really think of me like that? But, you know, you just got to remember like, like I said, not everyone's going to like you. And I think the people you need to focus on are the people that do love you and that are around you. Like, I've, it's, it's hard because social media is, like, a huge thing in our generation. But you just got to remember social media isn't everything, and you need to focus on the people around you in person. This person doesn't know you on the Internet. They, if they comment rude things they're either jealous or they're just angry with themselves or something. And so you just have to remember that like these people on the internet don't know you. They see literally probably five seconds of your life and you know, they have their judgments, but you just have to remember like that. Well, that's not true. Like that's not what I think of myself. That's not what other people think of my, um, of myself. And like, I don't know, that is a really hard question, but it's just people, have different ways of handling it and I think the best way for everyone is just to remember that that's just someone on the internet that don't really know you and have seen like probably five seconds of your life on the internet in videos and they just either are jealous or angry not happy with themselves that's such a mature answer <laughs> I can't even believe it you're like they're just not happy with themselves that's so mature I just I'm really impressed that someone at your age can have that kind of understanding. Um, sorry, going back now, I told you I was going to switch around. A lot. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> going back to your mission, um, I asked your mom the other day because she was, we were talking and she was like, it's going to be so hard for me, you know, mm -hmm. her first baby, you know, leaving and, uh -huh. oh man, and I can't even, I mean, I got emotional <laughs> talking because I was like, I couldn't even imagine my child leaving on a mission. That's got to be just the hardest thing. Yeah. But she said, you know, one of the things that's going to be the hardest is Perry, your younger sister. Yeah. She was saying how much, I mean, all, all your family, but like, I know you and Perry, like mm -hmm. she wants to be with you and you can even see it in these videos. She just wants to be with you all the time. She yeah. likes to watch movies with you every night. And yeah, um, she does. What do you want to give a little message to Perry? <laughs> yes. Um, ooh. It makes me a little emotional because Perry and I have gone so close, like within the last year. And I'm close with all of my siblings in certain ways, but Perry and I have gotten so close. Like we were never really this close. And, you know, she actually just texted me right before this. Can we go get Starbucks? <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I'll maybe later. But yeah, Perry, she is like one of like, an another thing with family is um, being best friends with your siblings is also amazing because it's like you can talk to them with um, about anything and like they can talk to you and like you guys can just have fun like you can be dorky in yourself like I I can be super childish sometimes like I like to play like Roblox or Fortnite or just like these fun little games and you know it may be awkward with people my age but with my siblings like I can do that because like they've known me my whole life. They've known, um, just like how I was when I was a child. And so I can bring my child side out with my siblings. You don't have to pretend at all. Yeah. I don't have to pretend, pretend. And it's super fun to just hang out with like my siblings and Perry and we've grown so close and it's just been super fun to just play Roblox with her and get Starbucks every day. And 
um, we've just been able to talk like and I can talk to her about anything so yeah. so what do you want to is there anything you want to say to her um Perry <laughs> I love you and I hope that you know it's gonna be okay like I'm just I'm gonna be gone for just a year and a half and you know we'll we'll come back and we can play Roblox and go get Starbucks later so <laughs> so cute you guys are seriously the cutest family um well, so just to wrap up, um, let's also say something to your parents. Do you mind? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot no, like that. No, you're good. You're good. It's so It makes me so emotional because I'm leaving them. And so I think I'm like, oh, dang, like this is going to be hard. And, and, and I knew it was going to be hard, but it's just like, I don't know. I guess it's just hitting me now. But um, I just want to say to my mom and dad that they have literally been my best friends and I can tell them anything and they have made me into the person I am today. My dad has been like super good with me in my school and because he has been so good with me and like making sure I get my work in and get A's and stuff, I am the person I am today and I get pretty good grades in college and I've been keeping up with my work even though it's like my own decision now. And then my mom, she helps me know like I can make mistakes and that's okay. And I can go and talk to her about it and just like figure out how to fix it. And she's always been so good like with being open about her mistakes, which I think is great because it makes me feel better about my mistakes. And it's like, hey, it's not it's not just you. Like I've done this too. Or like it's okay like to feel like this because I've felt like this too because of this. And I just want to say to my mom and dad, thank you for you the way that you have you know, helped me grow and you've taught me great life lessons that I can use in my future life and hopefully my future kids. So. Well, Kesley, I am so excited to see everything that as much as I can see what goes on in your mission. And, and we talked about doing another podcast when you get home Yes. to tell us what had happened and to tell us, um, how you've changed and, mm -hmm just to see the the new person that you're going to become. And I, I'm so excited for you. You're doing so many good things. And I don't know, do you know that I served a mission too? Yeah. yeah. You spoke Spanish, right? Yeah, I went, that's right. We did talk about it. I, mm -hmm. I served Spanish speaking and there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. I, I highly recommend it. It is so hard. <laughs> it is so incredibly hard. It is not a vacation, but mm -hmm. it is the absolute best thing. I mean, you're in the most selfish time of life what could be the most selfish and you're choosing to be the exact opposite. And I hope everyone can see what an incredible person you are, not just for that, thank but you. for a lot of the good things that you're doing. And thank you so much for being here. I know. Thanks for having me. Of course. I, I don't know why I was so emotional today, but of course, because you're leaving your family for a year and a half and you're doing something huge. That's why like you made me emotional. 